BJ is a 62-year-old, 70-kilogram female with a ventricular arrhythmia. Assuming a volume of distribution of 33 liters and clearance of 0.5 liters per minute, use one compartment model equations to compute a lidocaine IV bolus loading dose to be administered over one to two minutes and continuous infusion to achieve a steady state concentration of three milligrams per liter. So to answer both parts of this question, we need our steady, our non-steady state equation and our steady state equations. Uh, the non-steady state equation um, relates to the plasma drug concentration to the rate of uh, administration, the clearance, and the uh, duration of the infusion. Steady state concentration is very similar except for the fact that it lacks this term in parentheses right over here. We can start by um, calculating the rate constant of elimination. To do that, we divide the clearance by the volume of distribution, uh, both of which are given, and we get 0 0.015 minutes to the negative one. Now, the it's convenient to, since they're asking for a loading dose, where doses are in milligrams, we can, expre we can express um, the loading dose in terms of the rate of administration and the duration of infusion. Um, so the rate of administration is the bolus dose divided by the infusion time. And so basically what I did, all I did here was I just rewrote RA here from this equation. And then I solved for the bolus dose, and I got 100 milligrams. I chose two minutes to be my infusion uh, duration arbitrarily. I could have picked one minute. Um, clearance is given. And the concentration CP is the same as the steady state concentration. Because the purpose of a loading dose is to achieve the steady state concentration in a short period of time, in this case, one to two minutes. Um, now, the continuous infusion rate required to achieve a steady state concentration of three milligrams per liter is um, calculated by rearranging the steady state equation in which the steady state um, concentration is the rate of administration divided by the clearance. So when we rearrange that, we get 1.5 milligrams per minute. That's our infusion rate. Remember, rate is um, per unit time. Now, when we look at the two equations, when we compare the non-steady state and steady state equations, um, we, know, we notice that we use the uh, non-steady state equation to solve for a steady state concentration in the first part to when we um, were calculating the loading dose, because they are telling us they want it to be achieved within a certain period of time, in this case, one to two minutes. So notice how the infusion duration it appears in the non-steady state equation, but not in the steady state equation. So in, so in general, as the infusion continues, steady state is approached. And so if the, as the infusion runs longer and longer, TIN, the infusion time is gonna, the value is gonna increase. And that is gonna make E to the negative K TIN going to approach zero. And when that happens, one minus zero is simply one, and we have, um, and we're left with rate of administration over clearance, which is the same thing. So, again, we use the non-steady state equation to solve for a steady state concentration because they asked for it in a spe in a specific period of time. Mm -hmm.